there's one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick because I've seen in the news that people have been attacking Chinese people and they're blaming them for the coronavirus even though there are 1.5 billion people in China and the actual Chinese government isn't who ignored the outbreak. It was local government and um, if there's any group of people that would ignore something like that, it's the Americans because they wouldn't even think that it's that big of a deal until it's too big of a deal. So, um, but China has an even bigger problem because of their population. And on top of that, you think that quarantine in the United States is bad? Do you know what it's like being quarantined in China or India where you live in a house with like 10 people and you live in a apartment blocks where everyone is piled on top of each other? And you can't really, you can barely even avoid each other and they're not letting people do crap. So you think quarantine in the United States is bad. Quarantine in China is worse. And so this whole, I'm going to blame Chinese people is messed up. And so I feel like the majority of the United States is Christian and that means you guys should be people that have compassion on others. But I feel like the most likely people to persecute Chinese people are male, radical, conservative Christians. So, that's all I wanted to say. Um, a gift in secret averts anger is what this says. But um, I was actually looking at the verse that says, A gift opens doors, it gives access to the great. And for those that don't know, Jack Ma donated so many coronavirus tests to us. Jack Ma is the richest man in China. He donated so many masks. He Like, our healthcare workers need masks, right? China is, is making us masks. So, um, they are helping us. But we're not acting like they're helping us. We're acting like they're our enemy. And what I know about the coronavirus is that we all have to beat it. And the reason I'm on the internet going, come on guys, let's all wear masks and, and hide. And like actually listen to these people. The reason I'm on the internet saying that stuff is because I want you guys to stop it also because I can't stop it by myself. We all have to stop it. And that's not the United States. The whole world has to stop it. The reason I didn't want Turkey's coronavirus tests, but I wanted China's coronavirus tests, is because I think Turkey is going to have serious problems with coronavirus, and they need the tests for themselves. They need to think long term. Turkey is where everyone passes through. Turkey, is, that, that, that's why they had, the, they had Constantinople there. The Eastern Roman Empire was based out of Turkey because it's the perfect waterway. It's a, it's a shipping lane, but it's also uh, where people... Um, refu there's a reason there are so many refugees in Turkey it's because everyone goes through Turkey so Turkey is a, a place that could get really out of control with coronavirus really fast and I'm kind of surprised it hasn't I'm surprised it's hit Turkey or it's, it's hit Italy so bad but my concern is the reason it's hit Italy so bad is because their medical system is so advanced and other countries don't have as advanced have as advanced of a medical system but I feel like Turkey does have an advanced medical system, but that doesn't mean they have as much control over all parts of Turkey, like the refugee camps. But I haven't heard anything about refugee camps having the coronavirus, but what I am trying to say to all Americans is while we're going through this, we need to have compassion on others because we're not the only ones going through this. China is still going through it. Who has it worse, China or the United States? China. The only reason China has it better is because their system is built to spy on people. But um, it, they, it, I have a feeling they're going to find out that it's not built enough to spy on people to stop the coronavirus because once it's a pandemic, it's a pandemic and it's not going to be gone until we have a vaccine. So we have to have compassion on others so that we can all work together and so that we can all help one another because if we can't stop it everywhere it's never going to go away here